Hi beautifuls, it's Bree. I am back and I'm back with you today to do a Baltimore Orioles eyeshadow tutorial because I am from Baltimore. Yay! Girls already know that since I did the Baltimore Ravens tutorial as my first tutorial when I first started. Um, so of course I would only be right if I did an Orioles tutorial because they are doing so good right now. I'm so proud of them. And I am going to the game tomorrow, so I only thought that it was good to show you guys what I'll be doing for that look. Um, so stay tuned if you want to see how I got this beautiful orange and black smoky eye for the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, guys. So I already went ahead and primed my eyelid. I'm still using the NYX High Definition Eyeshadow Base. I've had it for like two months now. I'm not right now, and I do use it pretty much every day, even when I'm not on camera filming for you guys. Sorry about that, that's Sophia in the background playing with her toy. I'm sure she'll pop in in a second to say hi since nobody's paying attention to And since we are doing more of a brighter look, I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk, which is just a white color to give us a good base so that that color stays all day long and pops. And you're just putting it on the eyelid area. You don't really want to go above So the that. first color we're going to be using today is from MAC. There she is. Hi, Soph. What you doing? What you doing, boo-boo? All right, she's just staring at me. I just want to come say hi. But the first color we're going to use is from MAC, and it's their orange, and it's a matte color. It looks just like this. Since we are doing an Orioles look, obviously we need to use an orange. And you're just going to take a flat brush like so and apply that color. Um, you're pretty much going to start, I'd say, about two-thirds of the way in on your eye. The next color we're going to go ahead and use white. is also from MAC. And it's just their white color in Gesso, which is also a matte color, like this. And we're going to apply that right to that corner of the eye where we didn't put the orange. And I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just wiping it off on a towel over here so I don't have orange in my white. And apply it right to that corner. And don't worry, because we will touch up all this later on so it's not perfect. Again, don't and worry. And when you're doing it, you want to kind of try to bring it up to this little corner here. So it's in the inner crease and then the inner So eyelid. the next color we're going to go ahead and use is a black color because obviously the Orioles are orange, black, and white. That's why I have my Baltimore shirt on below for you guys to show you. Um, so this is what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to use a color from the Naked palette, which is called Creep. Um, it's a black and it has a little bit of glitter in it. Um, I thought it was best for this eye look, but obviously if you want to use matte colors, that's also okay. Um, I'm going to use a thicker blending brush like this. I'm going to take a little bit of the color. You are using black, so I want to take too much because you could always apply more if you don't have enough. And you're going to start from the outside of the crease. Um, sorry, on your outside of your eye and the crease area and just move up until you're over that orange, but you don't want to go into that inner corner. And you want to blend it out so it's not as dramatic. It is black. And I'm just taking my brush and swirling it to make it uh, blended out so it's not as... Dark. And then to make that orange pop a little bit more, I'm going to use a color from NYX, and it's their Ultra Pearl Mania. This color is called Orange Zest Pearl. It's just a really pretty orange color. Um, I always just put it into the little caps so I can um, easily access it. Um, this one is a little bit glitter in it, which I really liked. I'm just going to go right on top of that orange that I already did um, with that flat brush, and we're just going to pat that color right on top of the orange. Now, this is a pigment color, so I would not use too much because you could always go back and apply more. I'm just patting it right on top of the orange I already did. And the next one we're going to use is, again, from MAC. I have a lot of MAC colors today. Um, it is called Top Knot. It is a velvet color. It's kind of like a black, purple, has glitter in it. We're just going to hit that um, outside crease over top that black and that orange to blend that a little bit more in. I'm going to use a smaller blending brush. Can't find it. So we're just going to use the bigger blending brush that I used earlier, but I would suggest using the small one if you have it. You're just going to take a little bit of that color. You're going to start on the outside of the eye just like that, and you're going to bring it over. Then you're just going to take that white color again from MAC, which is Gesso, and you're going to apply that again to the inner corner of your eye to make it stand out a little bit more. Um, I'm using kind of a flat brush. I don't know what you would really call this, but it's really good for picking up the white color. And matte color, so I like using it. And then I did notice my black's a little bit darker than I want, so I'm actually going to go ahead and blend it out. I'm going to take the color Naked from the Naked palette and just blend that out a little bit. 
because I don't want it to be that dark. And then we're just going to go ahead and do our brow area. I'm going to use the same color that I always use, which is Foxy from the Naked 2 palette. Um, just to remind you guys, I pretty much said when I started doing these tutorials that um, I'd probably use a color from the Naked palettes every time I did my eyeshadow. And I'm pretty sure that I have held up to that so far. What do you guys agree? So I'm just taking a little, um, I guess like a pencil brush like this, and I'm just taking on top of that brow area. You could also use that tinier pencil, uh, pencil brush that I use typically. I'm just blending out a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead black. and do our lower lid area. I'm going to take that white color that I've been using the whole time, if I can find it. There it is. And I'm going to take that same brush I just used, just hit that inner corner. Up this guy while we're at it. Okay. And then I'm going to take more of that NYX Ultra Pearl Mania. And I'm going to take that, just a little bit of it, because it's a pigment. And I'm going to go right underneath of that lower eye area. And then I'm going to take the Creep color that I used earlier. And I'm going to hit the corner of that. And just blend that in. To tone that um, orange and a little underneath the eye, I'm just going to take a blending color I'm using Naked from the Naked palette. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit so it's not as bright. <laughs> because I love glitter, I'm going to take a little bit of loose glitter. You could also use a liquid eyeliner, um, glitter eyeliner if you had it. But I'm going to take a little bit of this loose glitter that I have from Sephora that I've had forever. And I'm just going to go right under my eye. That wasn't really working with that guy, so I'm going to take that brush that I used for the white, and I'm just going to hit that right underneath my eye. I'm just going to go ahead and do our eyeliner. I'm still using the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes, and it's in their black color. I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline, both my bottom and my upper, as well as my upper lash line. And I really feel like the eyeliner makes this look, so if you girls don't do it, I don't feel like you're going to get the same effect. I'm just going to go ahead and apply a black mascara. I'm still using the Maybelline Falsies Flared. Um, this is in Black as Black, which I actually talked about in my April favorites. Still loving it. Definitely gives me the look that I'm looking for. I'm just going ahead and applying it. And here, beautifuls, is our finished Oreos look. Oh my god, it is so pretty. I cannot wear it to wear this to the game tomorrow. Um, I'm going with work again, so it'll be a really good time. Um, I love how they do events like that for us all the time. It's a really good time to get out and just have a good time. But I hope you girls like it. Um, even if you're not Orioles fans, I'm sure if you're looking for sort of an orange-black look, you could wear it. Or it might be great for, like, Halloween. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Um, that the Orioles colors are for Halloween. My high school colors are also for Halloween, which is pretty cool. And we always had Spirit Day around Halloween, so it always worked out perfect. But anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. And let me know if there's any tutorials that you want to see in um, the next couple days. I think I'm going to do like a wedding tutorial because I went to a wedding this past weekend and did a really, really pretty eye look. So let me know if you guys want to see that. And thanks for watching. See ya.